flexor in the top and around the outside of the hip flexor. The, if you're feeling it in the hip flexor on the bent leg, the supporting leg, that's because the hip flexor is working very hard. If you look at Jim's position here, the hip flexor, when you go in this position here, the hip flexor is contracted strongly so that you can stay balanced. And the other place that you're likely to feel it is an anterior tibialis as well, as the body tries to pull the knee as far forward as possible. None of that's a problem. This is a completely natural movement. It just isn't natural for most of us. <laughs> and and look, look, at, look at what Sharia is doing. This is the next level, and if you're flexible enough and you have proportionate suits, she's actually getting up from a fully relaxed position there. That's lovely. Can you do that, by the way? Try it. His proportion, just look, look, folks, no one ever talks about this in exercise classes, but Craig's proportion doesn't allow him to do this easily. Look at, look, look at the difference. Can you see how long his lower leg is in relation to his thigh? Now, Cherie, if you do the same exercise, her lower leg and thighs are the same length. I'd also offer that my flexibility through this ability to compress the leg here. Ab absolutely. It's a proportion thing. So Exactly, I totally understand. But the, the, the reason for mentioning that, the reason for mentioning that only is that very rarely do exercise teachers factor proportion into any of their arguments. There are some exercises which will not be possible for you in this lifetime. And you know what? That's no reason for suicide. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. May, may I offer another yeah, alternative please. To, to building strength is to, with our hands, stay low, we're going to do that next. That's what, that's what we're doing next. And, and Liv, I want to show just one other thing. Liv, can you just demonstrate in the centre, please, how you use an arm support for people who are just not flexible enough to get down into the position. Just watch this. This is beautiful. And I can't... It was actually one of our teachers showed us this. It's exactly the same as Greg's side splits exercise where he, you slide down the front of someone's shins except you're providing your own support. And everyone can get into that position. Look where Katie is. Now just lean forward a bit and make your leg bare on the arm. Feel that? Now we're in a, a position to actually move from here. So supposing you're down at the hip like this. Now watch. Move over to this leg. And that will give you the stretch in gracilis and the inner hamstring that we're going for in the next exercise. Same. I really feel that being able to move like this is immensely valuable. That's beautiful. And then the next exercise is a, a, a basically a version of what Craig just did where he said, don't lean forward, we're going to lean forward. Just watch. This, of all the things that I've learned in the last year, this has become my new favourite and it's a perfect warm-up for what we're about to do. Hold onto this ankle, hold onto this ankle, squat down, transition, squat down and I'm trying to keep my trunk horizontal to the floor as much as I can and I'm trying to get the body as low as possible. So actually Liv, if you just gently apply some pressure to, just watch, this is a partner version of it, while pulling this line completely tight, that stretches everything we're going to work on today. And the other side, same please, pull the right leg tight and go down. I'm just not heavy enough to stretch my own fascia, but with someone's assistance, it feels wonderful in the body. It also stops you falling over. So try that by all means and move slowly. Do you like that, Ben? <laughs> These are lovely movements. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's a very nice stretch, but I had to turn my leg over to do it. Oh, I'd, lo I'd love you to do that. Meredith, that's exemplary. You don't have any hips, do you, really? <laughs> that's superb. You've got perfect side splits, though, I can tell.
can't show up, I can't get any sort of it's, it's, like, a, it's, it's just fooling. Dark. Folks, do you, do you all remember the expression, do you all remember the expression, Rome wasn't built in a day? <laughs> well, you, you have to be, have to be modest in your aspirations, at least in the beginning. <laughs> um, I don't know how many years Greg and I and the various martial artists that I studied with have been practicing this exercise, but it'll probably, t probably be 30 years. And I've only recently gained some competence in it. It <laughs> does take time. But I have to say, having said that, that most of our students get flexible way, way more quickly than, than, I, than it took me to. Because we now understand how to do it. That's beautiful, Liv. Just, just, that's the form we're after. And as you get more flexible, you simply sink. In this position too, if you're working with a sensitive partner, you can do a marvellous contraction, pull this leg through the floor as though you were trying to do this, and you'll feel straight away that line contract. And the idea is when you're making the transition, you're trying to stay as low as possible. But once you get used to the oddness of the position, do you feel how much control you have if you've got hold of your own ankles? And as you said, the worst thing that could happen is you fall over, but no one's fallen over yet. Okay, we'll have a play now between the Skandasana version where the feet are turned out like this. Now that we've warmed up a bit, you should find that when you go to do the normal Cossack squat, it feels much easier to do now. So just do a couple where you're trying to make the transition as low and as smooth as you can. God, I wish I'd done your warm up there. So, uh, <laughs> hybrid between it is between what we're doing right now and my warm up. Yeah, sure. Go. Just a second. Let me. Yes. Oh, I like it. Yes, yes, yes. We, you, I remember you showed me that recently. That's lovely. Yep, yep. Lovely. Lovely, thank you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ben, Ben, make sure that leg goes outside the line of the body and don't let your ankle collapse. Folks, just watch this little correction here. Just watch. This is what, this is what everyone will do. They let the knee come in and look what happens in the ankle. It collapses completely. So what we're trying to do is in all these positions that we're in, and I'll, I'll demonstrate this myself, the ankle alignment is maintained perfectly. Got equal weight on the inside and the outside of the foot and the arch doesn't collapse. That's absolutely critical. If we're talking about the constraints in this pose, that's number one. Can you feel the difference? Yeah, the arch is great. It's completely different. Keep it up. 